Hello Commanders, Topsley is here, today in Talking War Robots. A quick report on our battle with freezes, sneak peek at the Christmas update, and more. First of all, our Halloween story is out. We are super happy to see the comments, they are really good, and this is a very happy person right here. This means we shall continue building and expanding War Robots universe next year. Please tell us in the comments what kind of stories you'd like to get. News. Last week we unlocked lots of items in the store. You can now buy the Eye, Nebula and Wasp drones. Several popular pilots appeared in the training center and Typhon is now available to build in the workshop. Starting with 7.5, you can invite people to your squad using their player IDs. This is one of the features from the long list of quality of life improvements that many requested. Playing together has become much more easier. Be sure to try it if you are tired of fighting alone. You can find teammates in many places. Check the Looking for Squad chats in War Robots Discord, for instance. You can join it by the link below. Tech work. As we speak right now, our engineers keep upgrading the War Robots tech. In 7.5, they optimize the robot deployment code. Our data shows that in match freezes went down significantly compared to 7.4. Here's the graph showing that. It's real, I promise. Have you noticed any difference? Please let us know. Meanwhile, we keep receiving reports on bugs with Demeter, Aujun and Hades abilities. Those issues became notoriously tricky to pinpoint, so we'd really appreciate your help with those. The hunt is on. If you stumble upon an issue, please send our support folks a detailed description of the problem, the time when it happened, your player ID, platform and video recording of the problem. That is generally a good approach for reporting all issues. By including all the extra info, you help us catch them much, much faster. What's next? New Year and Christmas preparations are well underway. The next update will be our last major update for this year, but definitely not the least. Harpy and Siren will bend ice and fire, soar high into the air, lay waste on the ground, but mind the squishiness. Here goes a true definition of glass cannon. You can try both robots on the test server this week, so I'll waste no more time here. Fujin will see a minor rework, allowing it to move with the shield on. This is a change aimed mostly at the lower league meta, to reflect how the speed of War Robots gameplay increased over the past few years. Speaking of lower leagues, there are tons of items in the War Robots. In the next update, we plan to introduce a tier system that will reflect the strength and complexity of each. It is a purely UI change, but we hope it will help newer players navigate through the plethora of robots and weapons. More teasers to come in our community updates on Reddit. Creator Program If you make videos or stream War Robots on YouTube, be sure to sign up for our Creator Program. On Gold Rank and higher, YouTubers receive new equipment for free to show on their channels. There are other benefits as well, so if you are interested, check the description for details. That's it for today. See you soon in our community updates, talking war robots, other videos here on the channel, and happy hunting, commanders!